everybody and welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for coming back and watching another video. I really appreciate it. If you've never been here before and never seen one of my videos before, my name is Deandra. Happy to have you here. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. So I just came back from the gym and I was thinking while I was there on the elliptical, getting in my cardio, well, obviously not just, I didn't just come back from the gym. I came back, I showered, I put makeup on so that I looked more like a human. I came back from the gym about an hour ago and while I was there I was on the elliptical thinking, listening kind of to what was going on around me because I have headphones in when I'm in the gym. I don't know about you guys when you work out but I need something to listen to. I need music to motivate me and also to help me kind of, it kind of helps me distract from time in the sense that I'm not thinking, okay, my God, I've been running for so long and really it's only been 45 seconds. I can listen to the music and enjoy it. If it looks like my lighting's a little bit different or I'm in a slightly different place, it's because my camera just died and I had to start again, so. If you're in the gym and you're lifting weights, great. I am glad that you have that kind of strength. Glad you're trying to push yourself, build up your muscles. But if you're in the gym and you have to lift a weight like this, <gasps> <laughs> the weight's probably too heavy for you. If you have to grunt like a dying walrus, the weight is too heavy for you. Put it down, pick one up that's five to 10 pounds lighter and try again. Please stop making those horrendous injured animal noises. Thank you. Also on the subject of lifting weights on a machine, not free weights, you need to keep the weights from clanging together when you release and the weights come back together, like you shouldn't be letting them slam together to hear that you've reached a stopping point. You should have a comfortable stopping point without needing the weights to slam together. It's really loud, it's really annoying, it's jarring. It takes everybody around you out of their focused workout, like don't be a douche. Also another thing that people do in the gym is they're just inconsiderate of the other people that are there wanting to use the machines. So if you're there and you're lifting on something, great, you know, do however many minutes you need to do and then move on to the next machine. If you're training for something and you need to be on that machine for an hour, maybe give yourself some kind of circuit so that the other people in the gym can also use that machine. If I walk by the only treadmill in the gym and see that you've been on it for 127 minutes, I'm gonna be a little annoyed. It might be time for you to get off let somebody else use it. Also, how have you been running for 127 minutes? Like, you're ready for whatever you're training for. It's time to get off. Another thing, if you know that you sweat a lot, I'm talking to probably half of you out there, all of you bodybuildery, huge jacked guys that I see at the gym, good for you. I'm glad you're reaching your goals. If you know that you sweat a lot, bring a towel. It's not hard. It's not heavy, it's not expensive. You can get one at Walmart for, I don't know, like 250 probably. Bring a towel to wipe off the machines that you're using after you're done using them. I don't wanna go to lay down on the bench and do my own chest presses and lay down in a half a cup of your bodily fluids. That's disgusting. It makes me wanna vomit. Just take a towel, bloop, 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 wipe it up when you're done. It's not difficult. The last thing I wanna talk about when people are at the gym, singing. Like, humming every now and then, I think is okay, probably because I do it. But like, when I'm on the treadmill, or the elliptical, or the stationary bike, and I am getting my cardio in, I am listening to Lemonade, you can't tell me nothing. Like, I am going for it, I am in. And sometimes I'll hum like half a verse of the song, cause I'm like, <laughs> I'm focused, I'm in it, and I'm enjoying the music. What you should not be doing at the gym, number one, is listening to music with no headphones. And like you just have your phone laying on the sill of the machine or on the windowsill and just playing, that's unacceptable. Other people don't wanna hear any music. The second thing you should not be doing is singing out loud. Whether you're on a machine doing cardio or you're on a machine doing weights or you're lifting free weights, what you should not be doing is singing out loud in the gym. That's annoying. People came here to work out. They did not come to listen to extra number three, the musical. It's not about you. If you're going to the gym because you want attention, don't. 
get some kind of workout tape, work out at home. Ain't nobody got time for that. I think that is it right now for all of the annoying things I can think of that people do in the gym. If you've been in the gym and seen somebody doing something so absolutely obnoxious and annoying that you can't believe it, leave a comment down below. I would love to read about it. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to click over here to watch one of my more recent videos. And don't forget to click the little circle with my face in it down here in the corner to subscribe. I would really appreciate it. If you want to follow me on social media, I'll leave all the links to that down below. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye. I don't want to go to lay down on the bench to do like my, whatever they're called. Also on the subject of listing weights, what I wanted to talk about, that's weird, don't forget to uh, click over here to watch some more, uh, blah, blah, blah.